So now in this video we're going to come back to an old diagram that I put together. So we have uh, three series components here, the uh, resistor, LED, and the capacitor uh, when the switch is open and when the switch is closed. Then we will have uh, the components split up the voltage. So uh, 7 volts will never be across any single component here. We have uh, the 1K resistor limiting current through the LED when the capacitor is not fully charged. Um, so when it's charging or when the switch is closed. So right when we uh, close the switch, capacitor will instantly discharge. Uh, the LED is going to start lighting up because current's going to go through it with the uh, 1000 ohm resistor. Now the red LED drops about 2 volts. So out of that 7 volts, about 2 volts is going to be across the LED and then uh, the capacitor is not going to have any voltage on it current's going to go freely around it and uh, therefore the resistor uh, 1000 ohm resistor is going to have about 5 volts across it um, and as long as you hold the switch that will remain true right there now when you release the uh, switch uh, the capacitor is going to start charging to 5 volts it's charging through the LED and the resistor current is going through and actually as current goes down the red LED is not going to drop uh, 2 volts it's going to work its way down to only dropping about 1.5 volts um, but it's you know estimated to about 2 volts um, at some point current's going to stop once the uh, capacitor is as charged as it's going to get and there will be 0 volts across the resistor right there um, that's going to be true about 0 volts across the resistor uh, the red LED it's going to be about 1.5 volts uh, so the capacitor is going to be about 5.5 uh, volts. Hopefully that makes sense. But the main takeaway is uh, we're just getting a little practice in the fact that uh, the supply voltage is uh, divided up amongst the components. It's not actually divided by the LED. It actually drops a certain amount of voltage. Um, changes slightly with how much current's going through it. Um, but for the most part it drops a fairly reliable uh, voltage right there. Uh, capacitor, its voltage goes up as it charges, as uh, more current goes into it, and its voltage goes down as uh, there's less uh, current in it and um, less difference between the plates to be more uh, accurate. Uh, but there you can see, close the switch, there'll be zero volts across it. These two components will have seven volts across them total. So now we're going to grab the multimeter and take a basic uh, look at this. Going to set it to uh, measure voltage. We don't have to move the red probe for anything but uh, high current. So there you can see we got 7 volts. We're not going to go anywhere near uh, 20 milliamps of current. Only about 5 milliamps of current when the uh, switch is pressed. Uh, but in case there you can see uh, the voltage. So right now the switch is open right there. I'm going to come up with a different way to measure uh, with the multimeter when we uh, close the switch. So... Um, there you can see, as I said before, there's going to be approximately 5.5 uh, uh, volts across the capacitor when uh, there's uh, really no current flowing right there. And um, so that's going to put about 1.5 volts across the LED approximately right there. And uh, current does, you know, kind of trickle through uh, at, uh, you know, very uh, low voltages. Um, but in any case, there should be about... Uh, Try to make sure I do not discharge the uh, capacitor. So let's go to this LED spot right there. There you go. And uh, there you can see about zero volts across the resistor. Pretty much uh, no current going through. 1000 ohm resistor, by the way. And uh, I can, you know, uh, do the uh, capacitor right here while I press the switch. So I will do that. You'll notice uh, right when I press the switch, because it's ground on that side, ground over there. Uh, so uh, this uh, lead right there will go to ground when I close the switch right there. So you can see the LED lights up and the capacitor voltage drops to zero uh, instantly and uh, I release it. Now the capacitor is charging, the LED is dimming. And now I got uh, these alligator clips clipped to the uh, probes which I clamp to uh, these uh, breadboard wires uh, right there. So we're on both sides of the LED. And there you can see, you know, about 1.5 volts approximately. Again, current does kind of trickle through at uh, lower voltages and, uh, you know, slowly charge the capacitor a little bit more. But, uh, you know, we still have a built up uh, voltage and current's going to go through the meter now. So it's going to go quicker than if 
I didn't. But in any case, there we go. Now I press the button. Now we have, you know, uh, probably about uh, three milliamp or er, five milliamps of current because we got seven volts. The LED is dropping about two volts, and that puts about five volts across the 1,000 ohm resistor. So about five milliamps of current. Um, but uh, there you can see, while I was holding it, we had about two volts across the LED, and now it's going down to uh, the voltage we said before. And uh, now we're going to measure the voltage across the uh, resistor. So we're coming up where the top lead, the anode of the LED is, the longer lead, but it also connects to the resistor. So as I said before, um, not pressing the button, the capacitor charges, and then there's no voltage difference across uh, the resistor right there. So I press the button and there you can see, we have five volts across the resistor. We're just measuring the resistor right now. And um, then I release the switch and it's going down right there. But as we can see, the voltage are, we're adding up. We have, you know, just a little bit more than five volts there. Uh, just a little bit less than two right there for a total of about seven uh, when we get about zero volts across the resistor, as you can see there. And um, so if I move down, one spot so we're measuring the LED and the resistor now you can see there's about 1.5 we already saw if I press the button the capacitor goes to uh, 0 volts so we got that and now um, we got 7 volts right there across the uh, resistor and the LED so it's adding up to the uh, total supply voltage because the total supply voltage is now across two uh, components and uh, for a brief period of time it's split up among the three um, but when we get uh, the capacitor fully charged, basically all the voltage is now across two again, right there. Um, but in any case, understanding uh, voltages, um, so yeah, it's going to stop at about 1.5. We're measuring the two of them right there again, uh, which is about uh, two volts. Um, but, you know, it is slightly different because of the current. So this is kind of ideal. If uh, LEDs were kind of an ideal for the voltage, it would always be two volts for the red one. It would always be three volts for the blue ones or green ones, but it does, you know, change a bit with uh, how much uh, current's going through them. Something you gotta be aware of. But the main focus here was that uh, series components, they split up the uh, supply voltage so that the total voltage across them equals the supply voltage. So, um, yeah, that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed. Make sure you check out one of the other videos I'm posting on the screen and check out the links down below. They all help out a lot. I'll see you in the next video.